We'll be using some gluten-free pasta, spinach, some good olive oil, artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomatoes, gluten-free breadcrumbs, pine nuts, salt and pepper, red chili flakes, two cloves of garlic, and a potato. Let's get started. So I've got my water salted and boiling, and I'm just gonna add my gluten-free noodles to it. I'm using a 12 ounce package of spaghetti noodles. And also I have my diced potato boiling as well. You'll constantly want to give your noodles a nice good stir so they don't stick together. They'll cook much better if you give them a nice whirl. And they'll be cooking for 11 minutes and we can start chopping while they are. our veggies chopped and we're going to slice our garlic and I like to thinly slice them. So that they're not so overpowering in our pasta. Next we're going to roughly chop the artichokes and the sun-dried tomatoes. I like to leave them in about half inch pieces. The sun-dried tomatoes vary between quarter inch pieces and half inch pieces. I like to leave it a little rustic. After a few minutes of chopping, now it's ready for the saute. Add two tablespoons of your olive oil to the pan. and your garlic. And a quarter teaspoon of your red chili flakes. Let this saute for a few minutes. You'll be able to smell the garlic infused in the oil. Next, add the sun-dried tomatoes. And the artichokes. And the strained cooked potatoes from earlier. And at this point, we can also add the pine nuts. I'm using about a quarter cup. And if you don't have pine nuts, feel free to use another nut. I'm gonna let them toast up for a minute. Once the pine nuts have toasted up a bit, we're gonna add the spinach. I'm using two handfuls. Remember, the spinach shrink down a lot. The noodles have been cooking for 11 minutes and they're ready to be drained. After a few minutes, the spinach should be soft and wilty and now it's time to add the noodles. Put about a teaspoon of salt or more to taste. black pepper. One last step, we're going to make a delicious breadcrumb topping. Add one tablespoon of olive oil and about a half a cup of gluten-free panko breadcrumbs. 
and about a quarter teaspoon of Italian herbs. Stir it and just cook this down till it's a golden brown. It adds a really nice texture to the top of the pasta. After the breadcrumbs are nice and toasted, we're going to plate our pasta and sprinkle it on top. This pasta dish is an incredibly hearty choice. It's very simple to make. All of the flavors blend so well together. The pine nuts, the sun-dried tomatoes, the artichokes, the basil, it's a winner. Satisfies your hunger in minutes. The flavors in this dish are so natural, earthy, herby, and spectacular. I hope you enjoyed this. We love having you guys in our lives. All the ingredients are listed in the description box below. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.